All right, Derek, coming out with a win, homecoming game, that's got to feel good. What are your emotions right now? <laughs> I, just, I don't even know how to feel. It's, it's just great, man. I love the environment, you know. I love playing with my teammates, and, and you know, they give me confidence, and I give them confidence. So, you know, in this, with this environment, that crowd, you know what I mean, they give us confidence. So we just go out there and we just do our thing, and right now we just, we're just all dancing and stuff. You know, we're just, you know, full of emotion, really emotional team, really young team. So... You know, this is good. We feel really good right now. Awesome. You, you came away with 17 points. A lot of them at the end of the game. Those were clutch points. How do you feel you were playing in that second half? Um, I just had to get more aggressive. Uh, at halftime, you know, Turner told me, like, Flo, you need to step it up. And, um, you know, I just took that and ran with it. And uh, I didn't force anything. I just, you know, took what the defense gave me. And, and a lot of times the guys would hedge the ball screens and they'd get away. And I just used my speed to get to the rack and, you know, or give my teammates a good dish for a nice shot or something. So kind of worked out, you know? At the end of the game, you put down a lot of free throws. The crowd was going nuts. <laughs> How did that affect you? Was that just cheering you on, or were you just <laughs> – so in the zone, you could hardly hear him. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of tune everything out. My friends always tell me, you know, like, hey, did you hear me screaming for you? And, you know, I mean, we can, we can hear the noise, but you know, I kind of tune it out. You know, what's going on on the court is, you know, what's most important. So I try to just focus in on that and tune everything out. So. All right, cool. Now, uh, defensively, how do you think you guys played tonight? Um. Depends how many points did Phil Martin have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, if we held Phil Martin under 20, then, you know, I think we had a good game. You know, he's a great player, and, you know, I, I just think we locked into the game plan. You know, we our game plan was to keep them all out of the paint and uh, grab rebounds, and I think we did that very well. So, Now, the first half, you guys were a little bit off the pace. What was said during halftime? Um, you know, Coach Turner talked about how our shots didn't fall, and he was like, you know, I want to challenge you guys. Like, can you put another strong half together? You know what I mean? Like, uh, our past few games, we would uh, come out strong and then we would drop off in the second half or vice versa, you know, drop off first half, come out strong second half. So, you know, he just kind of challenged us to put a, a whole game together and, you know, we took him up on that challenge and, you know, we did our thing. When people are coming up to you in the hall congratulating you, you know you had a good game. How do you think you feel? It feels great. You know, our team pulled together. Uh, a couple guys hit some big free throws and sealed the game. Feels and good. you were one of them. Yep. You put your free throws down when you went Thank up to you. the line. Yep, yep. Almost all of your nine points came in that second half. Clutch yep. nine points. Yep. Brought you guys back into the game. Yeah, my team really moved the ball. Found the open guys, so it's good. Like, defensively, you really stepped it up in the second half. I mean, was that more of a personal thing, or was the coach really, really telling you, hey, Adam, I need you to step up? I mean, our team pulled together. You know, defensively, we got stops. We really rotated well and uh, helped each other out and uh, really locked down defending on the end of the game. That's how we won. Now you had that, that string of points. How did that feel? You're, getting a, you're on a roll and the crowd's going nuts. How's that feel? It felt great. You know, the crowd was really behind us. It's really awesome to see that many people out in front. It was actually it was really helpful. You know, the support, cheering for the crowd. We got the band out there yeah, and everything. Awesome. It was really so. awesome. Good feeling. Yeah, and not to mention the eruption that happened when the game ended. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, That felt great. Yeah, but you played great tonight. So, I mean, what do you think, though, first half you guys were a little off the pace. What do yeah. you think you guys are going to work on in practice? We just didn't hit shots, you know, but that will come like it did in the second half. We pulled together. Um, first half the shots were there. We just couldn't make them, you know. Yeah. It was nervous or something, but we pulled together. Like I said, we won the game. That's all that matters. So. Big win tonight. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Oh, Feel great. Uh, feels amazing. You know, uh, the homecoming crowd. We always get a good turnout for homecoming, and uh, and it's been you know it's been a trend that when we have bigger crowds, we tend to feed off of that energy and have you know play a little better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there was great. a there was definitely a loud roar that was happening whenever you guys would score points. Um, first half, you knocked down a few three pointers. The crowd absolutely went nuts. Does that fuel your fire when you hear that? When you knock three down, they scream, but you're like, oh, make another three. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot of times I tend to not really block out the crowd, but the crowd just isn't there. But when I knock down a shot and I hear the roar, or if one of my teammates knocks down the shot, he hears the roar, you know, that really gets us going. You know, that gets us talking. That gets our energy way up. So it's good. So would you say that louder is always better? Definitely. Louder is always better. Louder is always better. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, first half of the game, we saw you do a big transition. First half, you're more of an offensive player. You got a lot of your points in the first half. Second half, you took a more defensive role. 
I mean, what made that switch? Well, you know what? I mean, defense has been the emphasis for us ever since we started, ever since we started the season. And um, if my shot's not falling, one way I can make it up is on the defensive end. So I took a couple shots, they didn't fall, but I got back on defense and I made sure my energy level was high, even when things might not have gone our way. And uh, just did everything I could to help us win. I mean, the intensity of the team tonight was undeniable. I mean, you guys were laying out for balls left and right. I mean, if that ball was exposed, you guys were on top of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that energy, especially in the second half, I mean, what exactly happened in the locker room? Uh, we just, every time we go in the locker room, you know, we, we have a little saying, play like we're down 20. You know, whatever the score is, play like we're down 20. So we always have a sense of urgency. And he always makes the emphasis of loose balls, you know, win the 50-50 balls. Mm -hmm. If we win the 50-50 balls, more likely than not, we'll win the game. And uh, like you said, that's all just hustle plays and energy plays, and uh, everybody brought that tonight. You guys put a lot of pressure on Riverside. The full court press, at times, it just seemed like they couldn't handle it. You got a few steals, a couple quick baskets. Is that, is that kind of what was part of your original game plan, was just come out and hit them as hard as you could? Yeah, definitely. And uh, you know, credit to Riverside, they're a great team. And uh, we, saw, we watched a lot of film on them, and uh, we made it an emphasis to really get into their perimeter players. Their three perimeter players, excellent players. And uh, we knew we had to make an emphasis, especially Phil Martin, to stop him and to stop the rest of them from penetrating and getting into the paint. And so the full court press really helped us. So who do you feel like on your guys' team really, really stepped up their game tonight? Oh, we had a number of guys. I mean, Adam Folker, he's a monster yeah. on the on the yeah, boards. Yeah, we talked monster to him. He, on the was, he was pretty excited. Yeah, and, uh, he's he's been playing very well for us. Derek Flowers, clutch free throws. I mean, what more can I say? And he made a lot of a lot of great drives to the basket too. He had one in the first half where he threw it up, and I don't know how it went in, but it went in. <laughs> and uh, he was solid for us the whole game. And uh, I mean, everybody came in. Colin Woods came off the bench. He contributed. Travis Souza came in with some defense. Uh, Will Davis, shot blocker, Mike Best knocked down the big shots tonight. So everybody did well. All right, man. Awesome. Congratulations right. on the win. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a nice it. night, okay? You too. You too.